Hey guys, who are you? Um, I'm Nick, one of the junior managers at Cumbrand Simply Gym. So today we've got a flexibility stretch workout for you. So this one can be done on a day off if you're having a little bit of a rest, or if you've been out for a walk, etc. Um, or even after um, one of the workouts, if you want to make it a bit longer, um, you can basically add in 15, 20 minutes of stretching. Uh, what we're going to do is show you all the main muscle group stretches. Uh, if you do classes with us, you'll be used to a lot of these, so it'll be a nice jog of your memory. If you're new to it, a um, couple of key things to remember when you're stretching is light and gentle to start and gradually progress the stretch. And we generally do each stretch two or three times with a little rest in between. <clears throat> Should make sure you're warm beforehand. So as I said, you know, whether you've gone for a walk with the dog or whether you've just a little bit of march on the spot, etc. from there, it's always good just to loosen up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is take you through the exercise. We'll start with a low body. <coughs> so, if you just take one leg across, we're going to work the glute muscles. And all we're essentially aiming for is a knee to the opposite shoulder. Now there's lots of different versions of these around, but they all follow the same guideline, which is knee to opposite shoulder. And you'll basically feel the glute muscle. And you just want to apply a little bit of pressure. All right. You shouldn't be in too much agony. It should be an enjoyable pain. All right. And don't forget, obviously, to do the other side. And some people will find if they just lift the foot up and pull that along, and um, it'll make the stretch a little more intense. So if you're doing it after a workout, it's a great advanced version. <coughs> Groin muscles next. So take your legs nice and wide. Don't take them all the way out. And we just want to make sure our pelvis is upright. So we just tilt ourselves forward. And then when we lean down, you'll feel your groin muscles stretching out. Again, holding it for about 20 to 30 seconds minimum. Okay. And the lower you get to the ground, obviously the more flexible you'll be. So just go as low down as you can go from there. Next exercise for hamstrings, bring your legs in a little bit. Now it's quite important you point your toes away from you and keep them um, adjacent to the ceiling. We're gonna stretch down one leg, nose towards the knee is what we're looking for, straight leg. And this will work the hamstring muscle. And again, we're not looking to move backwards and forwards, we're not looking to bounce, we're just looking to hold the stretch. Nice steady stretch. If you find the stretch is loose enough, it feels a little easier. You can go down a little bit, but remember it's slow, gradual progression. So that's glutes, groins, and hamstrings. Quad muscles next. <coughs> what we like to do for this is leave about a six inch gap between the knees, and also just make sure there's a little gap between the foot and the um, bum. We're then gonna make a banana shape or through the hip to the shoulder. And this will stretch out the quad muscle, and in particular, the torius. And then to make it a little more intense, we just lift the hip up. <coughs> and again, hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds from there. Okay, so the main muscles in the upper part of the legs, just the calf muscles next. So roll it over on your hands and knees, standing up. And we just push the heel down towards the floor, while moving the hips closer down and you should feel the back of the lower leg stretching out. Again, 20 to 30 seconds, just holding that, and it should be a nice experience. So guys, you will feel a little bit of pain, okay? Um, but it's important that it's a comfortable, it should feel like the muscle's stretching, okay? So make sure you keep it enjoyable from that perspective. Um, next exercise we're gonna do is a lower back stretch. So lay yourself down, arms out nice and wide, one leg comes up, we take the leg the entire way over towards the floor and you can use your hand to keep it down and then try and bring your other elbow back towards the floor. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and then slowly release and change sides. And just ensure the foot and the knee come the whole way over. It will make it a lot easier. Okay, so that's the lower half of the body done in the midsection. Got a nice rotational one on that last stretch for you. So just the upper body exercise to go now. So for the lat muscles, arms out in front of us, and we lean backwards, and this will stretch out the lat muscles in the back. 20 to 30 seconds, and then for the shoulders, we do the opposite. Sit up nice and tall, good posture. Arms go back behind you, palms facing the ceiling. Okay, and just pull the arms back. And you should be able to feel like your delts, the front of the shoulders stretching there. And then the last final exercise is the chest. You'll need a wall or something to um, aid you with this one. And all you need to do is stand, grab a hold 
and then turn your body away from it and you'll be able to feel the chest muscle stretching out. The more you turn, obviously the bigger the stretch you'll get. So guys, don't be afraid to replay those ones as we go through so you, if they're new to you, you may have to learn them. So don't be afraid to pause the video and then um, start it back again once you've learned the stretch. Um, every part of your body done there for you. Um, so it's a good chance to get flexible over the next few weeks with us. Um, and we look forward to bringing some more videos for you. See you soon.